Okay, I managed to uh, flip my couch over. Now I'm going to remove these legs and see if I can't pre-drill a hole or I don't know, I might be able to use the holes already here. And uh, attach these legs. It comes with these little parts here. And these are the four legs that I'm going to put on there. Oops. Got them from Amazon. And this little place is what you screw onto the bottom of the couch. And it has little pads so you won't be scratching up your wood floors. And it comes with the screws. Yeah, okay. Okay, I got my white pen. We're going to do this again. I think one was right here. And one was here. And one was here. So, I'm not going to try to pre-drill because I like these screws. They have the pointed head. So, that should make it much easier for me to screw it in. So, this is where I'm going to get a bigger bit. I get, use this one. I don't know what the measurement on this one is. They usually have it. My hubby tried to show me where it says the size, but I don't see it. Anyway. I'll take this one out <clears throat> take this and I'm going to screw this one in and go in here and try to open this hole up Shit, this ain't as easy as I thought might need to use a bigger one let's see if this will go in it's more of a pain in the ass than I thought it would be okay we got to go in big, folks. So I have the bottom of the top. Trying to get a big enough hole. I think. Oh shit. I think I'm gonna need the the big one. to see now if I could push this thing into this hole. I'm hammering it in. Let's see what happens if I should. See the fabric is in the way. I don't know. Hell This one, uh, this one should do it. Okay, okay. It looks like about the same size. But, okay. Let me be careful and mess your damn hammer. fabric yeah anyway and the hole this is not gonna be as easy as I thought it would be I tell you and I'm trying to keep everything in place I don't want to have to uh you know shit I'm stuck my damn in this bitch is not going in I have to remove the fabric I'm gonna have to cut some of this fabric out so I can see what the hell I'm doing
Here, I'm trying to do some math. I'm measuring from the corner because I don't, this is the front of the couch, so I want it to be right. Because you have to see it from the front and the back, I don't care too much about. But this is exactly where I'm going to drill here. But it's, it's always good to, what's it say, measure twice and cut once. So I'm going to go back and check my numbers again just to make sure. Because this thing has to line up properly. Finally, I had to drill four holes, hammer those, that little metal piece down into the hole, screw them on, and then screw the legs on. Whew. It was an ordeal. It wasn't supposed to be that difficult. But I finally finished it. So if you want to make some changes to your sofa, change the legs as I did, just order some legs. I got these from Amazon, as I mentioned previously. I wanted more of the mid-century modern look because the sofa that I wanted from Ashley was out of stock. And I liked the square lines of this particular sofa. I just did not like the legs. So I looked at it and I said, all I have to do is change the legs and I think I would get the look that I wanted. And I did. So I hope you enjoyed this video. So please make sure that you thumbs up, give it a like, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on my next video.